How about them cowboys? How about them cowboys? What's up with your cowboys fans, man? What's up with your Dallas Cowboys fans, man? All y'all sat there and said that the Dallas Cowboys with that Prescott, right, and CeeDee Lamb, and that elite level defense with Michael Parsons, right? You sat there and said that Mike Zimmerman, right, is going to change the Cowboys defense and stuff like that, right? But the New Orleans Saints, led by Derek Carr and Alvin Kamara, dropped 40. Dropped 40 on them Cowboys. And it was easy work. 11 first, 11 first downs in the first half of the game, man. The Saints was moving the ball. They were running the ball between the tackles. They O-line held up. Rashid Shaheed was cooking. Derek Carr looking like the best quarterback in the league right now. He was cooking with Chris Olave. Alvin Kamara, four touchdowns. Four touchdowns for Alvin Kamara. That O-line is great lanes for Alvin Kamara to run between the gaps. And Michael Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys didn't have no answer for the Saints offense. 40-something points. The first time they kicked in the game was in the fourth quarter when the game was out of his reach. You Cowboy fans looking sad. But the notorious Cowboy fan himself and Skip Bayless. Skip, 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 skip Bayless had this to say about the Dallas Cowboys getting beat by the New Orleans Saints. Remember when Jerry Jones said he was all in to fix his Dallas Cowboys after they gave up 27 first half points in a home playoff game against Green Bay that ended last season? Remember when I said, now I'm now all out because Jerry did next to nothing to go all in to fix this team. I just had to sit and watch my Dallas Cowboys that I have loved since I was 10 years old with all my heart and soul, rip my heart out again in a home regular season game. They've won 16 of those in a row by giving up 35 first half points. Tying the all-time record for giving up points at home in any kind of game. I told you so. I told myself so. Now all I got is my freaking field goal kicker, number 17. Well, at least Hazel still loves me. It's just so hard for me to love the team that I have loved with my body, heart, and soul since I was 10 years of age. I told you all off season, I no longer trust my Dallas Cowboys because I no longer trust Gerald Wayne Jones Jr. He said he was all in to fix that mess that happened down 27 to nothing in a home playoff game to Green Bay. And today we saw same song, second sad verse. This team is rotten to the core because Jerry did next to nothing to fix it. I still don't trust the quarterback who makes the most money in the entire league. I still don't trust Micah Parsons, who is a ghost today once again, most overhyped player in the league. I don't trust our running game because I don't think we have much running game while they have Camara. I don't trust our defensive line because it can't stop Hazel. I just don't trust the Dallas Cowboys. So I wasn't really that surprised by getting my heart ripped out again today. Oh, Skip, I don't want to hear this, Skip. I don't want to hear it, Skip. Y'all sat there and prayed Dakota Prescott, Dak Prescott, who phoned in big games in the playoffs. Y'all paid him the most guaranteed money in NFL history. The man is making $60 million. He signed the richest contract in NFL history. And the man threw two picks. Two picks. The Cowboys offense couldn't even score over 19 points against the New Orleans Saints. You paid Dak Prescott. You paid Dak Prescott. All that money came and scored 19 points. The man's choked every year in the playoffs. Couldn't even get to the AF, uh, NFC Championship game. This is the same Cowboys. And it's about time for y'all to give respect on the New Orleans Saints. 
Because they better than the Cowboys. Last year about the New Orleans Saints, they couldn't make the playoffs last year, but they had one of the worst offensive play caller in the league, right? But give credit to the Saints. They, they, they destroyed the Cowboys at Jerry World. They torched the Moors. So, one of your little cow girls, one of your little cow girls, gonna come to the realization that y'all the same team. You're the same team. I was I heard all talks. Oh, this is a different defense. Oh, they got Michael Parsons. They're using him everywhere. Michael Parsons has free lanes to go wherever he wants on the uh defense. Oh, the defense looks scary. Oh, Dak Prescott, he's locked in. He's locked in. Right. Oh, CD Lamb. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Cowboys. Oh, they going to the Super Bowl this year. And pop! There goes that Saints. Woo! The Saints look dangerous. They look dangerous. We're gonna talk about it more. Make sure y'all join our playback, right? Red Art Sports, we'll be live there almost every topic. Make sure y'all join the playback. The link is below. How about them Cowboys?